first step. Doc, uh, you know, Kawhi, after the last loss, said that the whole key was to stay even keel throughout the playoffs. Um, but considering the, the way these last two games have been lost, what's the challenge and what's your read on what your team's mindset is right now after these, seeing these big leads disappear? I don't know what it is right now, but it'll be, it'll be good by game seven. Um, no, listen, I thought once Murray went down um, with that injury, uh, from that point on the game, the complexion of the game completely changed. I thought we were the more physical team. We were attacking. We are getting into the paint. Uh, and from that point on, if you look at that point on, uh, it was a reverse of script. You know, I really – and I, I, I use all my timeouts just to try to get us to keep playing uh, the way we play each game to get these leads. You know, we were, it was beautiful basketball. Uh, and then we stopped playing. Uh, we stopped moving the ball. We stopped attacking on offense. Uh, and then that's what allowed them to score on defense because – we didn't score. So, you know, it's, it's funny. Usually, you know, at the end of the game, you say our defense uh, let us down. I thought it was offense tonight. I really did. I thought our offense let us down. Thanks, Andrew. Next uh, will be Ohm. Go ahead, Ohm. Hey, Doc, what's your uh, message to this team after these last two games and entering a game seven? I don't know yet. I'll let you know. Uh, next question, Doc, will come from uh, Dan in the bubble. Go ahead, Dan. No. You know, Trez is up and down for us right now. We know that. Um, listen, uh, I didn't, you know, if you go just on plus minus, which I think a lot of people do, um, I don't think either one of our fives are very effective tonight, if you want me to be honest. Um, and so we have to get better play out of both of them. Uh, yeah, I get that. But, you know, when you sometimes watch the game and then add up that minus and see if he was involved in it, you know, it does happen sometimes. So just watch it first before we make that critique. Uh, next up is Miriam. Hey, Doc. Um, the other day you said that, that the team wouldn't let, allow itself to be great. And obviously you guys were playing so well today and, and then stopped playing as well as you were. How frustrating is that for you to kind of like see it's it? It's frustrating, but you know, listen, um, when you decide to be a coach, it's not going to be roses every day. And so we clearly have the right formula as far as how we're playing. And then we keep losing it, you know? Uh, but again, I just thought we lost our pace. You know, I called one time out, you know, in the middle of the third and said, guys, we're not going to dribble the game out. All right. We're going to have to keep playing because they're not going away. Um, and, you know, they didn't go away. So give them credit. Like, they made every shot. They made all the right plays. We missed some shots. But I didn't like our shots. I didn't think in the first half we touched the paint and then the ball came out and we got shot. In the second half, we held the ball and, and we put no pressure on the defense. Next question from Tomer. Go ahead. Hey, Doc, obviously uh, you've been around the league in a while, but, you know, stats have sort of evolved, you know, throughout your coaching tenure. I'm curious, how much stock or do, do you pay attention to lineup data in terms of, you know, who, who's better with who on the team? We do it all. You know, I got 1,000 coaches. Uh, we have five analytical guys. I don't think there's anything we don't see. Okay. <laughs> uh, next question. Go ahead. Uh, Dylan. Doc, when, when you talk about just kind of not being able to sustain that throughout the whole game, is that a lack of concentration? Is that a lack of for instinct? I have no idea. Uh, honestly, uh, it will take me again watching the game again. Um, I, I put it early, though, even before we lost the lead. Uh, I turned to Ty Lewis and said, we've lost our pace. We're walking the ball up the floor. Uh, we were getting stops at the beginning of the second quarter, a third quarter, and we just we lost our pace, and that's just not us. It, we can't play the way we tried to play. Uh, go ahead, Andrew. Uh, two uh, two kind of lineup questions. You know, you went with Jermichael as the first big off the bench in the first, and he gave you great minutes. What did you think of his performance? And then also, why why do you want to go with Reggie, who hadn't played in two games late in that fourth? Uh, because sometimes we're down and you just try to go with someone. One thing Reggie has done, he has shown the ability to make shots. Um, 
you know, he struggles in other areas, but he does um, have that ability. And at the time when you put Reggie in, we needed someone to make a shot uh, because we wasn't doing that. So that's why uh, I love what Jamichael, I think, you know, like it's a great example. Jamichael, you look at his plus minus and minus 10, right? Jamichael played better than that. He was terrific tonight overall for us. So um, he was just out on the floor with a unit that lost the league. And so his plus minus doesn't look right. That's why you got to be so careful with just reading the plus minus. Doc, last question is coming from uh, Gary Washburn. What, you on vacation now? Waiting for the next game? You have a veteran team. How do you handle them before this game seven? Given all the injuries and guys coming out, do you have a feel for how this team and the attitude you Obviously, you've got to be surprised by the uh, Yeah, style. yeah, I am. Um, but, I, you know, honestly, Gary, this team is not – this is – I don't know how many playoff games, but that's all we've played. You know, this is not a team – a veteran team as far as where they're from, but they're not a veteran team together, you know. So, um, you know, we got – thank God it's an afternoon game. You know, we got the rest of the day. Uh, got time to prepare tomorrow and get ready for the next game. Thank you, Doc. Appreciate your time. Thanks, guys.